BS Vitas. His eye, Mike Martins. Your handheld junkie. And you know what, guys? I spent an entire week playing Rayman Origins. And yes, I cleared all 60 levels. And let me tell you guys how I did with this baby. Meet the new crazy plus 60 levels of platforming madness. Take on epic bosses and uncover countless secrets. Immerse yourself in a full high definition of glory. PS Vita exclusives, ghost mode, multi-touch controls, and more. One player, memory required, 500, 5,120 kilobytes touchscreen, and multi-touch option. I love this game. A lot of people say it's a rip-off of the Super Mario or a rip-off your typical side-scrolling, but what about games like Wonder Boy and, and there's so many side-scrolling games that I can Metroid and, and I could go on for hours of games that are side-scrolling just like this. Um, you know, it's got its own jungle vibe, island, South Island feel. You feel like you're in the Caribbean playing it. The music, the bongos, the cha-cha music, the whole uh, yeah, clarinet feel. It's really cool. And Rayman and friends talk like Sims. They sound like they're Sims when they're talking. Like when they're talking. It's so cool. So what do you guys think? I think it's I – th I don't think it's it, – like I said, it's got its own jungle type feel. If anything, I would say Rayman is close to Wonder Boy. That's my opinion. Be closer more to a Wonder Boy type game. Uh, the whole jungle feel, island aspect, and the whole, uh, well, you, Wonder Boy doesn't climb up walls. There's a lot of game side scroll that you could easily say are close to one another. But there was a huge argument for the longest time that Rayman was a ripoff of the Super Mario universe. But I beg to differ because I like going back and retrying levels which you couldn't do in the original Mario games but with this with Rayman you could go right to the beginning if you want and retry your levels to save those little yellow skewy things that you have to save and you break records and I like going back even when I'm deep into the game when I'm level 47 I like to go back to level 8 I would remember a level that I was so hard up on and had a really hard time playing I would go back do that whole level again, and then I would try and see if I could break my last record of saving those little things and unlocking all the hidden um, artifacts in that level. The game is just very addictive. You could play it. The flow is there, especially when you're on the go. And 60-plus levels, I, did, I completed the 60th level. No spoiler alert here. Uh, I had a lot of harder time. I think it was level 54 or 55 was just impossible. But then after that level, it was kind of kind of somewhat a little bit easier for some bizarre reason. But the game is just infinity fun. The music, the South Island Sea Caribbean type of flow of that like bongo drum slash kind of like a tropical feel. Yeah. So Rayman at the beginning busts out of his little cage that he's in, I guess being held captive. He goes out, frees a couple of uh, princesses, fairies that are flying around to give him aid through the game. And it's just jumping around, climbing up walls, swinging off vines. Yeah, Rayman Origins. What do you guys think? Do you think it's too, too, too similar to Super Mario? Or do you think Rayman deserves a universe of its own and they should leave it alone? Because Rayman is a masterpiece. I remember playing this for, I think it was for the PlayStation 1. And I played this game to death on the PlayStation 1. If I remember correctly, yes. PlayStation 1. Phenomenal game. Endless amount of time playing. And it was a treat playing it on the Vita. The colors, the back touchscreen, the front touchscreen. I had a great time playing this. I think, uh, especially if you played it on the, if you haven't played Rayman and you own a PS Vita and you didn't get this one for some bizarre reason, go pick it up. Find it somewhere used. Find it on Amazon. There's quite a few of them for sale in lots or individually being sold. 
Rayman, what do you guys think? Comment below. Thanks for watching. Mike Martins, your handheld junkie.